The Charlotte 49ers wrapped up another regular season by adding more hardware to the trophy case. The Diamond Niners posted a 39-14 record, including a 17-7 mark in conference play to grab the number one seed in this weekend's conference tournament. We're excited winning four out of five conference, you know, regular season championships, you know, winning one out of two, two out of three, three out of four, four out of five is a, is a huge deal. Really proud of our guys, our assistant coaches, our players. We understand people, it's so difficult to win even when you're not expected to win, but when you're expected to win every year and you've got that target on you like we do, it's really even more difficult to do and accomplish what's been accomplished over, you know, four championships in six years that we've been in the league and trying to win our third you know, tournament championship. We've been in three championship games and won two of them. And it's gonna be a tough road with some pretty darn good teams, but uh, we're gonna give it our best shot starting on Thursday. Being the number one overall seed in the conference tournament comes with a certain amount of pressure, but the 49ers look at this weekend as an opportunity to prove they are deserving of making another trip back to an NCAA regional. I mean, I wouldn't say it's pressure. I think it's, I think of it more as just like all the rehab and hard work that you know I've been putting in and we all have been putting in. Just uh, I've been waiting so long to do this and it's finally here and I'm ready to get after it. I, again, I'm just really proud of what we've done over an extended 55, 56 games or 53, how many ever we end up playing. And we've challenged ourselves in a non-conference and I, you know, hopefully all those things, hopefully the experience is going to help us come tournament time starting on Thursday. Win or die, win or die, go home. So you got to put it all out on the line. I mean, that's always been the case, and I mean, you know, obviously there's pressure there. You know, not only because we're the number one seed, but just because you know to keep playing, you got to win. But you know, I feel like the guys we're pretty loose bunch of guys, so I feel you know even with the pressure, we're pretty we're gonna stay relaxed. Just another opportunity to go out and play, and uh, we've just got to do we've got to take each one of those games. We got to go game by game, and just hope for the best, play play as hard as we can. It's real important. You always got to go out and try and win the first game. Once you win the first game, all the confidence comes up to you and you just seem like you get on a roll if you once you win the first game. Last year when we were in that loser's bracket, it kind of, that really put us in a hole. Uh, we, this year, we shouldn't lose any games, but if we are in that loser's bracket, we definitely have the pitching this year to, to dig ourselves back out. Um, but that first game is big. Uh, winning that first game and being able to go into Saturday with no losses would be, would be huge. Postseason baseball is certainly exciting, and if the Niners want to win another Atlantic 10 tournament crown, it will take a combination of hitting, pitching, defense, and of course, a little of Lady Luck. In the tournament, we've just got to hit. Um, our pitching's been there all year. We've lost so many games when Smith's pitched on Fridays when it's been 2-1 to one or 3-2, to two, and we've just got to hit. Uh, our pitching's there. The key to good pitching is having a good defense behind you. I mean, Ross behind the plate, Shaler rolling up the middle, good outfield, and then our guys just get on base and they're fast. So, I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed they're going to get scoring position. Just come out from the first pitch and just not worried about what everyone else is saying about us, not worried about what happened during the regular season, whether we beat a team or not. We just got to come out from the first pitch ready to play, and if we do that, we'll be successful. We started from the first day of fall practice and we're not going to reinvent things right now. We just have to, to have to make sure that we're, we're mentally and physically ready to go, which I think that we are. Uh, we've got pretty good scouting reports. You know, Brandon and, and Chris do a pretty good job of that information. I've got notes that I've taken over the course of the years. And this year and previous years we've played people, and it's just a matter of going out there and, and uh, playing to the best of our ability. If we play to the best of our ability, we're going to have a great chance to win, and that's, that's all we're trying to do.